Oh, who knew how cute it was to be financially destructive and waste money and show it off? Sal here with Simply Investing back here again for another video. The guy is actually quite right. Um, a lot of people who you think are wealthy because you see the you see like the outward, I guess, affirmations of it. Most of them are not wealthy. Matter of fact, they're probably living paycheck to paycheck like most people are, right? So, like, I get it. Even I, I may I own four businesses. I have a lot of investments, but you know, I, I don't move my company into a lavish office. I mean, we're in this. This office space is inexpensive. It's eight hundred dollars for a few offices which is all I need, right, a month for my businesses. And this place has not really changed since the 70s. It's This building has been the same. And, like, the car drive, yeah, I, I, I have goals that I want to hit before I could really get my dream car. Although right now, financially, I could get some of those cars. But right now, I'm rocking my little Toyota pickup truck, two-door, it's not an extended cab, it's just a standard little pickup truck. 2014, it's it's on its 10th year. And, you know, it, it doesn't have cruise control, doesn't have, uh, it doesn't have cruise control, doesn't have um, a few other things, doesn't have power windows or power seats, but it gets the job done. And it was what I started my company with, my moving company. Just that little pickup truck. So yeah, and I've seen a lot of I've seen a lot of my competitors fall in this trap, especially during from twenty 2020 twenty to twenty twenty three. We were the boon years in moving. I was saving all that money because I knew afterwards it was going to suck. I saw them start their business, a couple after me, get better and better and better, and all of a sudden, all of a sudden. They were in bigger houses. They are buying new cars. Now, they're all giving them up. They got bigger warehouses, bigger places, bigger ambitions. And then, so, you guys got to start treating money like water. Not like, not like gold or an asset. Money is like water. It will evaporate as quickly as you accumulate it. And the bigger the bucket you have, the faster it's going to evaporate. That's why it's so hard to really create and gather wealth. And yeah, there's a lot of fancy stuff. Like you want a nice house, you want a nice car, you want extra stuff, you want all the things you couldn't have before. But remember, it's like your money doesn't stretch as far as you think. So even if you get that $100,000 or $150,000 or $200,000 job or more, or if you're successful in business and are able to pay yourself a huge chunk of money, remember, it can disappear just as fast. Like, I, I just did payroll for my business. Just did payroll. Like, we're talking, like, I, I only did, like, three sites. I'm already, like, $70,000. And we average about, we average about five to $600,000 every two weeks in revenue for all nine of my moving sites. And my perils goes. And the money, I'm just watching the money dip, 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 dip. It's just going down. I'm watching it drop, drop, drop as I keep writing out checks and stuff like that. And I might have, at the end of everything, 3%. 3 or 4 maybe 5 I try to aim for 10%. If I can make 10%, that's very good. That's phenomenal. And it's very easy to see all that money and think you have more than what you actually have. That's why I don't spend any money of the business. The profit I make in 2024 will be spent in 2025. It all gets saved because I don't know what I got to pay for this year or next year. That's how you got to live your personal life too. Can't be buying a fancy car because you got the promotion. Because now you're living paycheck to paycheck or even worse, you're negative paycheck to paycheck because you got to use debt to finance your lifestyle. Don't fall into that trap. It's a rough trap to get in. 
and it takes a decade or more to get out. Thanks, guys. I'll check you guys later.